Hey, what's up guys? Matt Shapiro here again from the Rail Team, coming back at you with another baking video. I know a lot of us are uh, still stuck inside. I've been out with clients this week, but still there's many of us that are still uh, staying home and staying safe. So I figured I'd share with you another recipe from uh, my baking days. Um, this one comes requested from a lot of old friends in Montreal and people who knew me growing up and knew the bakery growing up. Um, and it also, it, it, uh, it goes well with the cheesecake recipe that I did. It actually takes part of the, the filler from the cheesecake and we're gonna turn it into uh, cheese bagels, a dessert cheese bagel. So not your regular bagel with cheese. This one, uh, anybody from Montreal will, will know what I'm talking about, but maybe others won't know. This is actually a, it's a puff pastry cheese bagel. Um, so I'm going to break it up uh, into a couple uh, sections. I'm going to make the, uh, it's a French style puff pastry, so we're going to be doing a barrage and the uh, détente. Okay everybody, so this is what we're going to need. This is for our barrage, and this over here is for our détente. Um, and of course we have our, our mixer with our, our paddle already. Uh, afterwards for the détente, we're going to shift over and use the uh, the dough hook. So first off, we need uh, one and a half cups of, uh, sorry, one and a half uh, pounds of uh, butter. Uh, so this over here, this is 454 grams, so it's one pound and a half, or three cups if you want to measure it out. And then of course we need one cup of flour. It's just all-purpose flour. And a little eight inch pan over here that we're gonna Put some uh, saran wrap uh, over. And over here for our detrempe, which we're gonna make afterwards, this is four cups of all-purpose flour. And then we have one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. And then one cup of uh, cool, coldish water. All right, here we go. Now is that a thing of beauty or what? Look at all that butter. Now you'll see I did save a uh, one cup of butter for the uh, detrempe, but the rest of it, this is all for our barrage over here. All right, now we're gonna lower our mixer, lock it in place. We're gonna start turning it on mixing it up and we want to mix in our butter, or sorry, our flour. And blend it all together. Now you want to mix in that flour so it's a lot easier to work the butter into the dough. That's that's why we put it in. All right, so we want to do that for I don't know maybe about a, a minute or so. It's now clumping all around the paddle. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape that down. We're going to scrape it down and we're going to pop it all into the pan over here. I don't have my expert helper today, so I've got to do this myself. Whoa. All right. Okay, so I've scraped the bowl down over here, and the next thing we're gonna do is put it into our baking pan. What you wanna do is you wanna push this all down in here, and you want it to be a good Good inch thick all the way around the pan, make it, you know, press it down in there so that it's a, a nice square. Okay, so here we have it in our pan. You can kind of see here, I'm gonna lift up the side. It's about as thick as we want it, just nice and even all the way around. And we're going to just wrap it up. I'm gonna put another layer on top and 
We are going to pop it into the fridge and you gotta chill it for a good two hours until you can, uh, until you can actually work it. All right, so our barrage is done. Okay, here we are ready to do our détrempe. I've switched to the dough hook. We've got our four cups of flour. I think I might have said earlier a cup of butter, but it's actually a half a cup of butter. So we need a half, a half a cup of butter with, you know, maybe one more block, just another tablespoon full. And what else we need? The uh, uh, tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of salt and our cup of cool water. So here we go. So you want to put everything in and you want to leave the butter aside. So we've got our flour, our salt, sugar, lemon juice, and our cup of water. Lower the hook, lock it in place. Now we wanna, we wanna knead this first before we put in our, our butter. Give it a good minute, maybe two. See how it's coming along? Almost all together. It's starting to look good. I'm gonna add the butter in now. Okay, we've got our butter in. I'll lower it down again. Lock it. And just keep it on low. And you wanna do this for a good a good four minutes, you want it to form a nice, nice even ball. At the three minute mark, you can see how it's starting to pull everything away from the sides of the bowl, so it's gonna be nice and sticky. We are at the two minute mark. It's really starting to come, to, come together. Just keep kneading it, you don't need to increase your speed. And here we are, almost the full four minutes. We're gonna be ready to take it out. Four minutes are up. Should have a nice big clump of dough. And what you can do is pop it out onto your flour counter over here. You don't want to use too much flour. You don't want to introduce too much flour into uh, the mix, but just enough to grab your rolling pin and you want to roll it down to about the same size as the uh, barrage that we had before with the uh, eight inch pan. So maybe a little bit bigger. And um, you, want to, you can do it on top of, well, you can roll it out and then uh, you want to wrap that in some uh, Saran. Flour this up a little bit. And we want to just roll it out over here. Not too big. Just square it up. Once it's cooled in the fridge and the barrage is ready to go, that's when we're gonna roll it out some more. So, see that thickness? That's what it should look like. Go like that. Just wrap it up nicely. Some saran, nice and tight. All right, 
ready for the fridge. Now you want to chill it for a good uh, couple hours. All right, so we've got our dough and our butter mixture. I just pop these out of the fridge. It's been uh, resting for about two hours. And now we're off to the next step, which uh, we're gonna start rolling it out. Now, you're gonna see different methods if you, if you look up puff pastry dough online. Um, some people roll out the dough and then put butter in it, but really the best way to get the most even dough of uh, butter to, uh, to a dough mixture is to roll out the uh, barrage, so roll out your butter and then put your dough into it. So that, that's what I'm gonna show you over here. Lightly flour your table. You've got your eight by eight square of uh, butter, butter mixture, and you're gonna wanna roll it out. It's a little bit tough. Do it. It's gonna need a little bit more flour. A bit more flour. Keep it together as much as you can. Well, can do a flip over here. And there we go. Actually, let me roll it a little bit more here. That's the dough, all right? So, you see the size? It's a little bit more than double the size of the dough, which was an eight by eight, I don't know, maybe around 20 inches long. So then you wanna pop that inside right over here. Pinch it in. Don't worry, it'll look nice and pretty as we go on, as we roll it out. Okay, now for the tough part, which is getting our first roll. We wanna do two rollouts uh, each time, and then, so two rollouts, put in the fridge for two hours, uh, let the glutens relax in the dough, and then take it out and do it again. Stamp it down a bit. We're blending the butter and the dough together. 
You need a really good heavy rolling pin. One with handles on the side is the best. Because you need to really push down you need that rolling. Okay, we got some butter popping through, no big deal. What's gonna happen on the first layer, on the first roll? Flip. Put that back in over here from underneath. Roll this side up. Grab a knife and uh, just square it up. So there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a trifold. We can actually fold it once more on top of each other like that. Let's see. There we go, what that looks like. Now we're gonna, you can put it into the fridge now if you wanted to and wait another two hours to do the next fold or I like to do two folds each time. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna roll it out one more time. All right, here we go for second roll out. really starting to blend nicely. So we'll have a nice even layer of dough and butter. Beautiful. Uh, nice. We're gonna wrap that in ceram and put it into the fridge. Okay, into the fridge she goes for two hours. Okay, so I've now just taken that out of the fridge and we're about to uh, roll it out for a second time. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on the counter and let it warm up a little bit. It's been in the fridge for probably about three hours. I had to go out for a bit. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna now unwrap it and roll it out for a second time. And just punch it 
down like that. really really nice then we're gonna do our fold again one see what doesn't break apart and two and I'm not gonna flip it over again I'm just gonna work it one more time from here Just a trifle this time. As it warms up, it gets a little bit easier. But that's about, that's about it. This looks good. All right. So now we're gonna do our fold again. fridge it's gonna go for another couple hours. I've now popped it out of the fridge. We're ready for our third fold. It's been a couple hours and we're gonna do it again. It's just repeating the same thing over again. We are ready for our third fold. Just took this out of the fridge. It's been in there for two hours and we're gonna do it again. Repeating it, third time. Pretty good. 
now we are going to do our fold again. Almost there. And there we go. I'm going to wrap it. Put it back into the fridge. And in two hours we'll come back and and I'll be ready to, uh, to start rolling out to make our cheese bagels. Next steps will be rolling it out, cutting them to size, and then adding our filling in, and then learning how to uh, make the shape, and uh, the whole process of, uh, of actually putting them into the oven and baking them up. Okay, so another two hours has passed, and we are now ready to roll out our dough. I just want to show you over here. I'm gonna slice this off. Oh, look at that. Look at all of our layers of butter and dough. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we are gonna roll this out. Now, when you roll this out for cheese bagels, um, we want the layers, the, the thickness to be about, uh, about a quarter of an inch thick. You, you don't want it too thick. So in terms of size, we want the squares to be about five by six inches. So I've got this nice little cover from my container over here that I'm going to use as a, as a template uh, to cut them out. Now, you can completely roll it out and do one long strip and then roll it and then cut them up afterwards. I like to do it like this. I like to do the little squares. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. So here we go. Keep going. Okay, our dough is rolled out. It's about the thickness that we want. Well, that's a little bit thick over there, but over here, it's about what we want. A little bit more on the edges. That's about it. We don't need it thick. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up the dough into our squares five by six anywhere in and around there four by six four by five whatever you like depending on the size of a cheese bagel you want now call them cheese bagels i think they should really be called cheese horseshoes because they're, they're in a horseshoe shape but i've always known them as, as cheese bagels so that's what they are Now, I'm using this, but you can use a pizza cutter and just roll it and make all of your cuts on your dough.
Okay, so <clears throat> I've now rolled out the dough, I've cut it up, um, I've re-rolled the sections that uh, I have peeled off to get more squares out of it, and I think we're, we're good now. We're about a dozen and a half, two dozen and a, and a half squares, which is pretty good. Now, this is the thickness that you're looking for. You see that? That's what we're looking for. Not too thick, not too, too thin. This will make a nice cheese bagel. So what we're doing next is we've got an egg wash over here. We've got our granulated sugar. We've got our cheesecake mix. So watch cheesecake video if you're just coming in now. And I've got a, uh, a cake piping bag, which I'm gonna fill just to make it easier. If you don't have a cake pipe, piping uh, bag, you can, just, you can just spoon a strip along inside the, uh, the squares. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to shape them. I did just wanna add that our cheesecake mix, that's been chilling in the, in the fridge all day. We want it uh, kind of firm. Uh, so just leave it in the fridge as long as you can. Then we're gonna fill some into the bag. It's a little messy now. That's okay, part of the fun. All right. So what we wanna do, we wanna take our egg wash over here and put a strip down at the bottom. Just like that. So when we do our fold, it's got somewhere to stick to. And we're doing a little bit of an assembly line. So we've got our squares, our sugar, our egg wash, cheese, and we've got a, a, got a tray over here. Okay, so here we go. Take our bag. Pop in a nice strip right there and do almost a double layer. That's what it's gonna look like. All right. Bring it in a little bit closer here and then we just take it, fold it over, tuck it in, roll, nice long little tube like that and we just want to put our hands around it like this and just tug a little bit like that don't want to rip it and then you just make it into a horseshoe shape like that I'll show you what it looks like once they're on the, on the tray all right I'm gonna pipe a few more just so you can see roll like that, stretch it out, pull it, and then fold it into a horseshoe. So it should look like that. Give it a nice shape. Again over here. Do it to all of them.
Okay, so we're all done now. Um, next thing we wanna do is give everything a good egg wash and we wanna take each one individually and we are going to dump them top down onto the sugar. So we're gonna have a nice granulated sugar. Took the cheese bagel, did the egg wash, dunked it in sugar, coarse sugar, and there we go. The fruits of our labor. And here we are. Egg wash, dunk them face down in the sugar, and then pop them out onto the tray. Two and a half dozen cheese bagels that are ready for the oven. All right, and here we are, they are in the oven. You wanna pop them in at 350 for about 25 minutes until they're golden brown. And the final result. Here we have our delicious cheese bagels. Enjoy everyone.